Cheeks, nice. Nice, what's your kid's name? Kylie. Doctor, there's a problem! What is it? I'm pregnant! Dear God. Doctor, what do I do? Do you know who the father is? No, but I do have a copy of his entire family's genetic history. Yes! Let me see that. So, it's so simple. I don't know what I'm doing. But it's so simple. I learned this from my ninth grade science teacher, Miss Ingalls. Square represents a male, circle a female. Each tree follows a specific trader gene. If the shape is colored blue, it means the person carries two recessive alloes. Half shaded means the person carries the dominant and recessive aloe, and red shaded means it has both dominant aloes. If a trait is dominant, it will be expressed by any homozygous or heterozygous genotypes. And here I am, heterozygous. Oh, I remember. It's all coming back to me. This is a pedigree designed to show one specific trait. In this case, it's blonde hair. Based on where the father lies. Right here, he has the recessive allele and the dominant allele for blonde hair. Because he has the recessive allele and the dominant allele, he expresses brown hair. Because you are heterozygous as well, your child has the potential to have blonde hair. I see now. We can use these pedigrees now to determine what your child will look like and what genetic issues they might have or carry. Not always do both men and women carry the same traits. There are things called sex-linked traits. For example, colorblindness is a sex-linked trait. Colorblindness lines only on the X chromosome. Because men have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, if the mother carries the gene for colorblindness, then if she has a son, 50 no matter of what, the time. he will become colorblind. Not all genetic issues lie within the passing of genes. Chromosomal disorders are where there is an issue with the separation of chromosomes during meiosis. Either a chromosome is left out or an extra is added. A karyotype is all 23 chromosomes laid out. By looking at this, we are able to see if there are any issues with someone's chromosomes. Monosomy is where a pair is missing, and a trisomy is an extra pair. The absence or excess of genetic material causes infertility and mental retardation. Down syndrome is the most well-known example of this. An extra pair of chromosome 21 causes it. Karyotypes help rule out these chromosomal disorders. For example, in this karyotype, you can see an extra pair of chromosome 21, which means this person has Down syndrome. Hello, welcome to the part after the video where we messed up everything and now I have to redo it. Okay, so I'm just going to re-go over everything we did. I'm no John Green or some Australian dude, but hey, I can write on the board. Uh, so, we're going to start off, what is a, what is a pedigree? What, what is that? Um, it's a chart that shows how a, a trait is passed on from generation to generation. It looks like this. A circle represents a female, while a square represents a male. If a shape is empty, it's not filled in, it means that this person does not carry the trait. They're unaffected by whatever trait is being uh, whatever trait there is. While if it is being well if it is filled, it means this person is affected by it. If the person is heterozygous for the trait, it shows them as being half shaded. So a line connecting of male and female shows that these are in a they're in a relationship. These shapes connecting to the line show their offspring. Every level of the pedigree, it is labeled with Roman numeral. These show every generation. So right here, there's five generations. Now, what is a karyotype, you may ask? Oh, easy. It's pretty much a selfie of your chromosomes. Here's a karyotype. Chromosomes 1 through 22 are called autosomal chromosomes. And then the last two chromos the last set of chromosomes are your sex chromosomes, your X and your Y chromosome. Now, when you're looking at a uh, karyotype, you, if you see that a person has two X chromosomes, it shows that they're a female, and if they have an X and a Y chromosome, it shows that they're a male. A pedigree allows you to look at someone's chromosomes and see if there's a defect. Monosomy is when there's a missing chromosome. So right here on chromosome uh, 14, 
there is one missing. There should be one here, but there isn't. A trisomy is when there's an extra chromosome added. So right here on chromosome 21, there's an extra. Monospies and trisomies occur because of during meiosis, there's a uh, non-disjunction, uh, which is what happens when your chromosomes don't successfully split. Some of the defects that we learned were uh, Klinefelter syndrome, which is where you have two X's and a Y. So this is a trisomy on the X chromosome. There's Turner syndrome, which is a monosomy on the Y chromosome. It's where you're missing a Y chromosome, so you just only have one X. And the last one is Down syndrome, which is a trisomy on chromosome 21. And that's the end of it. Now you can go and get a good grade on your test, and everyone's gonna be happy about it. <laughs>